Man, I hate interviews, but I'm happy to be here. <laughs> Man, this is great. Wow. We're going to start with Shane on the right. Clay, Shane Young, Fork Sports. I know you're a man of reflection these days. As you reflect on where you were just last year or the year before, even in 2019, what emotions come to mind after this moment? Uh, a lot of mixed ones, to be honest. I mean, 2019, it was easier to accept because I'd never been hurt before, and that five-year run took a lot out of us. But the second time it happened, it was like, what the heck is going on, man? And just to, just to stay with it, do the most, just a calf raise after calf raise after underwater treadmill, so many days, not even touching a ball. Then to go through this season with the ups and downs and even these playoffs, I mean, I'm just at a loss for words at times because I just knew this was possible, but to be here in real time, phew, man, I don't, I, I I don't want to leave. I just want to enjoy every second of this. I know how fleeting it can be. We'll go to Tanya here on the left. Um, I was just going to ask you about not wanting to leave the stage. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but, but what was that? You were up there with Steph dancing, yeah. you know, and just enjoying that moment. Do a lot of dance in the summer. Yeah. <laughs> dancing machine. <laughs> What, what, what was that like up there? What, what were you feeling when you were? Oh, man. I was feeling absolutely incredible. I was feeling just so high on life that I did not want to leave the stage. And I just know how hard this is. And to be here for a fourth time, like, I'm so grateful for my teammates. Like, I saw it in the beginning of the season. People call me crazy. I said championship or bust because I saw what, how we came out the gate. 18 and 2, and playing just that Warriors brand of basketball that made us so successful. And then knowing I was going to be inserted in that, I knew we had a chance to do something special. And here we are. Like, it's just so, so incredible. Wow. Whoa. We'll go next to Daniel in the middle. Daniel Bell, BSO. Um, Steph said that this one hits different than the other three, given everything you guys have been through and yeah. everything that was said about you guys. Do you feel that same thing? <laughs> a lot of chatter. A lot of chatter. A lot of doubters. But you know what? You just put that in your fuel tank and you just keep going. And it does definitely hit different. Like, the guys we integrated here, we could not be here without them. Whether it was Wiggs, who's around the corner, I don't know, he's chilling somewhere. There he is. That man made my life so easy. I used to have to do his job, and I'm looking at him like, that is exhausting, bro. You got to get buckets and guard the best player? That's crazy. Jordan Poole, his development, uh, the guys he picked up a free agent, agency like Otto and Belly. How about Kevon Looney? The man had a 22 rebound game. Just all around all down the board, like, and this was beyond the guys who got big minutes in the playoffs. Guys like Juan Toscano and Damian Lee, who were ready when they were called upon and won us big games in the regular season. So this was a collective effort, and strength in numbers is alive and well. <laughs> I can't wait. There was this one player on the Grizzlies who tweeted strength in numbers after they beat us in the regular season, and it pissed me off so much. <laughs> I can't wait to retweet that thing, freaking bum. That, I had to watch that. I'm just like, this freaking clown. Okay, 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 sorry. That memory just popped up. You're gonna mock us? Like, you ain't ever been there before, bro. We've been there, we know what it takes. So to be here again, hold that. We'll do a last couple for Clay. Mark Spears, back right. Twitter fingers, can you believe it? <laughs> Cannot. Mark in the back right. Uh, Clay, um, I got a memory like an elephant, I don't forget. And there was a lot of people kicking us when we were down. Uh, where do we eat breakfast when I interview for the first time? What's that? Oh, man, I forgot, but it was right by Broadway. I forgot the name, but I remember it was downtown Oakland. And I don't think you could guess I'll be here for a fourth time, Mark. You'd probably be like, heck no. What? So be here again? This is incredible. Okay. Uh, the Bahamian flag. Yep. Talk about your Bahamian pride and bring the flag up. Uh, well, it's been a part of my story since I was a child. My father was the first foreign-born number one pick, even before Wiggs. Can you believe that? Before Air Canada, there was Air Bahamas. 
So I know my family is in Nassau watching, and we had a tough year losing our Uncle Colin, who is such a big part of our family. He was the oldest brother of my my dad's side, and he was a legend on the island. And I just uh, love the Bahamas with all my heart. Like. I loved visiting my grandparents, my cousins when I was a kid, and I can't wait to go back and celebrate with all my family this summer. Um, I just think about them all the time. And we've, not only myself, but our family's faced adversity the last few years, losing my Uncle Paul and my Uncle Colin and my Aunt Patty. It was, just, and with life, things go on. So I just keep them in my heart when I go out there and hoop. Last one, Sam in the middle. Clay, uh, like you said, memory like an elephant. And tonight, you got this Celtics crowd that has been giving it to everybody, Draymond more than anybody, the whole series. <laughs> yeah. And I'm sure you enjoyed when Steph is third quarter saying, put a ring on my finger. Yeah. You know, uh, just talk about not only the environment, but, you know, but last week, both of you guys said there were 2015 vibes. And you closed yeah. that series out in Cleveland. Just what was that like? I just knew it. We've been here before, and it was the same. It was like deja vu, same feelings. Like we took, we uh, feel like we couldn't get in any good flow. Just like back in 2015, the Cavs had our number, and we just stuck with it. We grinded out a tough game four, and now to be here. Um, I mean, Steph was incredible tonight. I'm so happy for him to get that Finals MVP. Some freaking bozo saying he needed it. I don't think I think he's pretty much established what he can do. But to see him earn that, I mean, he's one of the greatest ever, and we all follow in his lead. And gosh, that was awesome. What a series! Thanks, Clay.